Great. After everything that's happened to me, I'm in prison. Way to go, Joseph. Way to go. Ha! <laughs> you think you've got problems? You're at least in jail and you know what's going to happen to you. My twelve brothers just picked me up and threw me in a well just because I had some dreams and my dad gave me a coat. Who knows what they're doing now, probably faking your death by putting blood on your coat. What do you mean? Well, you don't know it yet, but you're about to be sold into slavery. What? They're about to sell me into slavery? Yep, for just a few shekels of silver. Just a few shekels? I'm worth more than that. Apparently not. From there you'll get mixed up with a guy named Potiphar, the Egyptian captain of the guard. You'll do so well working for him that he places you in a high position of command, making more decisions than even him. So I'll spend the rest of my life serving him. But wait, then how did I end up in prison? His wife. What do you mean his wife? She's going to try to seduce you. She'll keep asking you and asking you, but you'll do the right thing and run away from sin. Okay, but I did the right thing. So how do I end up in prison? Well, you'll be leaving so quickly that you leave your coat behind in her hands. From there, Potiphar's wife will start hollering and screaming. Potiphar will come running and she'll accuse you of attacking her. And he'll believe her? Yep. From there, it's all downhill. You'll go from enslaved to imprisoned. Doesn't anything good happen? Anything good? Our dad thinks we're dead. Our brothers left us for dead. We've been enslaved, then harassed, then wrongfully imprisoned. What's worse, I don't even know if I'm ever going to get out of here. Even if I did, where would I go? It's hopeless. No, it's not. What? It's not. You don't know it yet, but things are about to change that will set the course of history. What are you talking about? Look, Prison Joseph, you're about to go from prison to being the second most powerful man in all of Egypt. What do you mean, crazy awesome palace, Joseph? Guys, it's straightforward from here. Prison Joseph, pretty soon you're going to do the same thing you did for Potiphar. Caused marital issues? No, you're going to work hard. Soon the prison guards will trust you so much that you'll oversee the prison, so you are being sarcastic. No, because soon you'll have two prisoners joining you, a baker and a wine taster. They're both going to have horrible dreams. Dreams again? That's what got me in trouble last time! Except this time, the dreams are about them. The wine taster's dream means he will be set free soon, and the baker's dream means he will be killed. Oof. I don't understand. How does this help me get out of prison and become the second most powerful man in all of Egypt? Well, Pharaoh is going to have his own dreams, about years of plenty and years of famine, but he won't know that. So he'll try to figure it all out, and that's when the wine taster comes in. The wine taster remembers that you answered his dream, so he figures you can answer Pharaoh's dream, which you can. From there, Pharaoh figures you're the wisest one to prepare for the seven years of famine, so he puts you in charge. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. What's even better is you're going to save your brothers and father's lives. Come, come again? again? The famine spread throughout all the lands, including your father's land. Why should I help them? They did all of this to me. Look, our brothers did something horrible to us, but you're about to be put in a position where you can save their lives and thousands of others' lives. Don't you see? God has used their evil for his good. What's more, because of this, you're going to secure the 12 tribes of Israel for the rest of history and help bring about the salvation of the world. Whoa. Because you saved your brothers and father from the famine, you saved the fathers of the 12 tribes of Israel. Those 12 tribes will grow down in Egypt, becoming a great nation. It will be from that nation that they are let out, and the law is given to Moses in the Mosaic Covenant. And besides, because you saved your brothers, you saved your brother Judah and his own family. You have helped set the line of Jesus Christ as it is found in Luke 3, 23-38. So in reality, you not only saved people's lives, you also were a part of the will of God for the salvation of the world. So, though there are definitely hard times in our lives due to sin and other consequences of our actions, God can use it for His purposes, which is our sanctification. That means our growth in the knowledge of God and our worship of Him. So don't lose heart through trials now. You can trust God despite the hard times you're in.